welcome back. Today we're going to talk about something that I actually have a really tough time doing and that is relaxing. I've had so such a difficult time relaxing this past year, which I've always known I'm like always at a hundred stressed out to level. Um, but I truly had such a tough time relaxing this year and I was trying to figure out what that like what relaxing means to me because I'm fairly busy during my week pretty much every single evening during my week I have something that I'm doing I'm either doing a lovely group going to a leadership group going to work um, I also work at a gym um, so practicing for that because y'all I need it or you know going to the gym myself so it's like when I get to my weekends one I felt like my weekends were going by so quickly and I did not go into my Monday feeling like, oh man, I rested, I felt good. Um, and then two, I also just felt like my weekends were so hectic. So one thing that I've decided is I am choosing to feel rested. Because I really do think, or not feel rested, but I'm choosing to relax. Which is a lot, is strangely easier said than done. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple tips that I have taken on when it comes to relaxing and let you guys know what I do when I'm stressed out. So tip number one, figure out what you like to do, even if it's something really small. For me, I like driving. I like, I like drives by myself when I don't have anywhere to go. Those are so unbelievably fulfilling to me. And I know it sounds really weird because one, I'm wasting gas, and two, it's like Florida traffic is terrible. But it's really nice when I don't have any place to be and I can just drive with my favorite music on and leisurely make my way there. Or even sometimes just getting a bagel makes me happy. Like little things like that are so unbelievably important for finding the or for moving into to relaxing um, now I know that I can't go for a drive at every single time of the day and I always I most of the time do have some place I need to be so it's not like I can do this all the time but I do try to make an effort to find little things that I enjoy like a smoothie like waking up and having a smoothie is something that this relaxes me having a smoothie and being able to sit down in a quiet home is something that's so enjoyable to me or being able to have a good cup of tea which I often do as well um, it's inexpensive it's quick it's something I can do at almost any time of the day and I choose to to train my mind that when I have this thing it means that I'm, I'm choosing to relax I know it's easier to say that you want to do things that you enjoy and not actually do them so my second tip i actually got from the book girl wash your face i've not finished the book i know there's a lot of controversy around the book and all that said on there so i can't say that i would promote the book or i wouldn't promote the book but i can say in particular one thing that um the author does specify is to ensure that you don't cancel on yourself I cancel on myself all the time. And what she, the way that she explains it, which I think is pretty impressive, is that we don't cancel on other people. We don't, like if, like if we're a good friend and we love those around us, we don't cancel on them, we don't break promises to them. If we said that we're gonna do something, we do it. We try to be women of our words, or we should be. Um, but when it comes to ourselves, it's, it's really easy to sometimes cancel on ourselves. It's like really easy for me to be like, well, I'll start my diet tomorrow, or well, I'll, um, I don't know, I'll go for a run tomorrow. I'll, you know, I'll do whatever it is tomorrow um, instead of choosing to do it when I said I was going to do it initially. So I've been trying to take on the mentality and put in the effort of not canceling on myself, which is really, really difficult because it's so easy for me to cancel on myself. It's super easy for me to get home be tired and not want to take my makeup off. I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret. The makeup that you see on me right now has remnants of last remnants of last night's makeup under it. It's very disgusting, but 
but it's because I canceled on myself even last night. So I'm not saying that I'm perfect at this, but I'm putting in an effort to kind of like whip myself into shape and remind myself that it's so important to not cancel on myself, taking care of my skin, um, making sure that I'm choosing little things to be happy. And I know that it's like, skincare is like, that's the least of my worries. And it might be something really big where it's like choosing to take control of your thoughts to not cancel, not give up on yourself. Cause we wouldn't give up on the people around us if they were thinking crazy and saying bad things about themselves. We're like, no, we're, we're proactive and we're, we're really good at making sure that we always support and love others. But it's so important to have that love and support for ourselves because we can't truly do that for anyone else if we're not loving ourselves, right? The third thing that I would super duper recommend and that I've also been doing to find a way to relax and enjoy life is to stop sweating the small stuff it's really difficult to not get wrapped up in the day-to-day -day things and to not get wrapped up and get upset and get angry and what is right in front of me at that point in time and I know for some of you you might be like yeah okay good job Kim go ahead and say don't get wrapped up in the day-to-day -day. don't get to you know whatever but you don't know what I'm going through I don't know um, and I can't say that I ever will know but I do know for me personally, there are a lot of things that have come up this year in particular that aren't small, but there are a lot of little small things that have made that one thing really big. And when I choose not to sweat all of those little small things that have kind of transformed, morphed into this huge beast in front of me daily it's made it easier to take on the beast because the beast becomes smaller and smaller and smaller as i choose to knock out all those smaller things that are kind of on the outskirts and that i can control a couple of weeks ago i was at my church and i left to go get coffee um because i serve all day long at my church and i left to go get coffee um and my battery has been giving me trouble for a while and I have been holding off on getting a new one because I did not want to spend money on a battery and plus it would always like it would it would not work one day and the next day it was like up a kick and we good so I was like pushing and really really trying to not get a new battery and I went to go get coffee I took all the precautions that I needed to take, like not leaving my lights on, not sitting for too long, because there's so many things. I, I, I mean, I, I had this whole routine on how to not um, have my battery like die on me. So I did all these different things, and then I got back to my car, and my battery would not turn on, and it was annoying because I, it was my first time being back around a lot of my friends at church in a while, and I was getting really lonely. Um, so I really needed quality time. Uh, and then I also really didn't want to pay money to get a new battery. I was annoyed. And looking, like, it was a big thing at that moment, but looking back, I'm like, that was small. Like, that was a small thing in a day. If the worst thing that happened to me that day was that my battery died, but I, you know, like, that was a small thing. And I chose, I had to choose in that moment to not sweat that small thing that came up, that small inconvenience that took over my day and to relax myself. And because of that, the rest of my day was seriously, that was like one of the best days I'd had. Well, I hope you really liked this video and I hope it'll be helpful. Tell me down below what you do to help stay relaxed. What are some things that you do that kind of pull that stress right back out of you? I could use more recommendations at all times. I'm consistently going in and out of stressful seasons and little stress dips and rises. So please let me know what you think. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up the video, watch everything, give us views. We love you, you love us, right? Maybe, that's why you're here, maybe not. We'll see, we'll see if we keep it going. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next video.